despite what is happening in the world, people are starting to travel again and I want to travel too. So my girlfriend and I packed our bags and we decided to go to Mexico for four months. This means that as for someone who does YouTube, video and photo, packing what equipment in my backpack was sort of a challenge. I only say sort of because YouTubers that make this type of video seem to have like this huge arsenal or closet of equipment they have to decrease into this tiny little bag. My tiny little bag literally fits my whole studio. I hope you guys learn that you don't have to have the best and you don't have to have the latest either. So I'm gonna show you what I packed slash everything I own. <laughs> As you can see that I brought my big camera, a small GoPro, a fun film camera, my laptop setup, my audio recorder, and all your extra miscellaneous things that you'll need like batteries, chargers, memory, etc. That's really all you need. And you don't even really need the film camera or the GoPro if you really don't want to. Everything fits into the packing cube. Whatever doesn't go in the packing cube just goes to my backpack and my backpack still has room for other things as well. So this is the backpack everything is going in. So my laptop goes in the back obviously and then my camera cube goes into this. But yeah, this is just a school backpack. This is not like some Peter McKinnon camera bag or some fancy camera bag. I needed something that was versatile that could fit my camera gear and I can take out my camera gear and go like hiking with it if I really wanted to. You can really turn any backpack into a camera bag as long as you have like some sort of padding for your camera. So let's go through the more important stuff on what I packed. So the Canon 60 is what I've had for like the past two years, I think maybe three now. This thing has been my favorite camera of all. The 60 Mark I was made in like 2012 and the lens I'm using, the 2470 Mark I was made in like 2001. They hold their value, but like they're obviously gonna be a cheaper price, like not as expensive as the top of line stuff. If you really are looking to look for like a nice camera that's gonna last you a long time and you're wanting to shoot high quality images and video, I highly recommend this setup. Look 10 years before, look at what the professionals were using 10 years before. It's like this idea that you can take luxury items from the past and bring them in today because if they're luxury in the past, they're probably not too far off from today's like working areas. Unfortunately, my camera does not shoot 4K and it does not shoot 1080p at 60 frames, but I can still get nice shots. You can still make a nice film. I think the most important thing besides like, you know, the actual camera and the lens is the ND filter. For anyone that's starting to get into YouTube and is filming outside a lot, please, if your camera does not have an ND filter, your footage is not gonna look as good or keep up with everyone else that is on YouTube. If you follow the 50 shutter speed rule with uh, 24 frames and you're trying to shoot at low ISO, and you're just like, why is it so bright? Get an ND filter, it will cut down everything even more and it's just gonna look so much better. So please, if you're a beginner, if you're an intermediate, please get an ND filter. It is so important, especially in the filmmaking world, a lot of pros use this. This GoPro, if you saw my Puerto Rico series, I realized this was a really handy vlog camera. I can just hold it around, flip it around, set it up anywhere I want and it's super small and all you have to do is just click this one button and it just starts recording. If you've seen my video on the Zoom H1n, then you understand how important this is. The whole setup right now when I'm using for audio is probably the setup I'm gonna be using for a while. I'm still, you know, learning how to get the, the best audio in post, but you know, setting this up, having this super small handy recorder, I can really just take anywhere. It's smaller than my phone. So check out that video if you haven't uh, already. So this Nikon film camera, I brought this because it's been really a part of my life for like the last like five years. Despite how rare I take photos with this thing, when I print it out and I get the digital format, it's, it's fun. It's pretty much my fun camera. I hand it to literally anybody can use it. Um, it's like your disposable camera that you would get as a kid uh, and you just go get it developed. This is pretty much my fun camera. I just bring it around whenever. Then I have my, I call it my port portable desktop, but you know, it's just a laptop with my mouse and my hard drive and my headphones. I can literally break this down, put it in my backpack. And if I'm ever at a place for a long time, you know, I set up like my desk setup and I start editing on this laptop. I've had this laptop for like almost six years now. It still works. It's definitely showing signs that it's dying. So if you guys have any recommend recommendations on another laptop, just let me know. And the last thing I want to say about all this, despite everything that you saw today, Please do not sleep on filming with your phone. 
you can film great footage, you can capture great moments and still make a good story out of your phone. What I learned about YouTube so far is that writing is everything. And if you take, take a look at what you filmed, take a look at your script, are you gonna have a good YouTube video? And I think if I just had my phone and I just had a pen and paper, I think I can create something that I like. For me, it's so much easier than pulling out my camera from this backpack and filming with it. I can just pull my phone out of my pocket and just click two buttons to go film something really nice. Always use your phone. Remember that you have a phone to film with. It's not just your camera too. Hopefully you guys learned something today that you don't really need like the top of the line stuff. You don't need the best stuff. You don't need the most expensive thing out there. Like I don't even have an external monitor I and mean, I don't have like this long shotgun microphone. I don't have like eight tripods with me. I don't have a huge light. So thanks for watching. And if you guys see me in Mexico, please don't rob me.